if you're looking at this, this is a plan or a protocol that was based off civilization breaking down. In a previous video, I went over the wilderness protocol for ham radio, as well as the protocol that was adopted by GMRS for the same purposes, clean comms in wild spaces. And then I went into how I incorporate that into all the running that I do. But this has been further developed for those that are purely preparedness minded, meaning those that are constantly thinking about what happens when the grid's down, bones are dead, and you're not necessarily in the wild, you're in any location, whether it be urban or rural, and you are just surrounded by chaos. The 333 Prepper Radio Protocol sounds like a code, and in a way it is. Every three hours, you tune in for three minutes on channel three. That simplicity is exactly the whole point of this whole thing. This is just another attempt to create some sort of efficiency in absolute chaos. Whether you're deep in a storm or navigating a grid down street, that window, those three minutes is where your group will connect. You conserve power, that in turn, you helps conserve your sanity, and you make contact predictable. Some people have adopted this as this plan as a foundational tool for their preparedness, balancing simplicity, effectiveness, and resource conservation. The argument being that for them, when combined with the proper preparation and training, it significantly enhances a group's ability to communicate during emergencies. So whether it's FRS, GMRS, HAM, or even CB, it doesn't matter where your group is aligned. It's just that channel three will be the rally point. So how would you go about implementing this plan? Number one would be a pre-event preparation. Distribute the plan to your group and ensure everyone understands the schedule, the channels, and the procedures. Practice using the radios, especially if some of the members are inexperienced. And then, as like I'm always out here doing, do some testing to ensure you'll have clear communication. As far as your equipment goes, you should basically know already where I'm going to go with this. And that is to say, use radios that are reliable and make sure that they are compatible because with a group, you know, channel three on an FRS or GMRS, which is the common channel to use, that may be fine because all of those systems are channel based. If you have a more ham heavy group, those operators may choose a two meter or 70 centimeter band frequency that is just designated as channel three. And then a group that is all CB operators may also use their channel three, but none of those would be compatible together. Now, if there is an actual event, it will also be very important to stick to the three hour schedule. Use concise, clear communications, limit your transmissions only to essential information, things like your location status, or if you have a request for help. And then probably the most important part of this is to be monitoring for incoming transmissions before transmitting, just so to avoid any sort of overlapping that could result as so many people being on frequency. Now, there certainly are some limitations anytime you're trying to rely on two-way radio as your sole communication system. There are known limits. We know that if you're dealing with valleys, you're going to have dead zones. If you're using just FRS radio as well, with their fixed antennas and their very low output powder, your range, your range is going to be very limited. If you're just using GMRS or in ham, well, then we know that licensing is a thing. And if someone misses the 333 plan schedule, well, they're basically offline. And that's why practice matters gear matters, and timing matters. When everything's down, community and communications matters. And with that, probably just as equally important, simplicity matters. The 333 plan isn't just clever, it's really a matter of tactical discipline. And by that, I'm talking about things like signal discipline, avoiding unnecessary chatter, keep the channel clear for emergencies. We've all heard that practice makes perfect. Well, that's completely wrong. Forget that you ever heard that. Practice makes improvement. And Believe it or not, you can always better your best. Have the discipline to conduct drills, to familiarize yourself and everyone around 
with the 333 plan if that's what you're going to use and the equipment. And finally, have backup channels, you know, designate alternative channels in case channel three becomes overcrowded or unusable because the scale of the emergency is going to dictate just how all of this plays out. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're having a good time while we're out here in Alaska, but I got to tell you, number one, the mosquitoes are absolutely awful. And number two, nobody warned me. The sun doesn't set this time of year here. It's literally daylight for 24 hours. So my circadian rhythm is absolutely jacked up, but we're going to get as much content as we can. I like being out here. So stay tuned. Lots more to come. And with that, be safe.